Our guest today is beautiful. Her body is a work of art. She is multi-talented. She has two shows on YouTube. She's a former TV host. She's an entrepreneur. Like the list is endless, okay? Okay, you might know her. You might not know her as Dana de Gracia. You might know her as Hustle Goddess. Karibu. Oh, oh. Welcome. You make me feel so special. Oh, but you are special. <laughs> you Karibu speak sana. Swahili, you speak fluent Swahili. Hey, kidogo too. Kidogo too. Kidogo I too. tell people no ngea Kiswahili, lakini it's only enough to make you think I'm you fluent. <laughs> oh, wow. And uh -huh. But you understand pretty well. Pretty well, yeah. yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, so welcome. Thank I you. I remember thank the you. last time I saw you, you were hosting me. Exactly. Now I'm hosting you. Oh my God. Isn't, isn't <laughs> life just interesting? Life is so interesting. <laughs> so tell us the journey of, you know, Dana becoming mm. the hustle goddess. Hey, so, <laughs> fun question. Uh -huh. um, I think I became hustle goddess before I moved to Kenya. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but I have been in Kenya for 10 years. So I've been, wow. a, hustle, I've been a hustle goddess oh. for a long time. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Yeah, it's a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, I stayed here for maybe about three years before mm -hmm. I started to get into entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, it, you know, the journey started with music videos. <laughs> yeah. So you were what? You were like a vixen? <laughs> yeah. <What>? Vi <laughs> vixening vixening is, is the bread and butter, no. you know? That's oh. where it all began. Okay. Yeah, that's really? where it all began. Okay. Uh, was a very, I think Do you remember your first music video? The f the first big one I was in yeah. was actually for Calligraph. Oh, mm -hmm. nice! Yeah, yeah. He has a song with um, DJ Krem. Mm -hmm. um, R.I.P. Competition. That nice. one. Okay. Yes, when I was not nearly as tattooed, not nearly as big. Okay, so you know. the tattoos are also relatively new. No, the tattoos okay. are not new, but I think the commitment to the amount mm -hmm. is pretty new. Okay. Because okay. I think when I moved to Kenya, mm -hmm. my sleeve was already getting started. Mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't think even my chest piece was finished at that time. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until I got my job as a talk show host that yeah. I realized entertainment was like, it was for me it for you. so yeah, then yeah. Uh, i got my hands tattooed nice. funny enough actually in, in the tattoo world mm -hmm. when you get your neck or your face or your hands they have a very specific name uh -huh. they're called job stoppers oh wow <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah they're called they're called job okay. stoppers because uh -huh. they stop like whatever job <laughs> you're interviewing for yeah. in its tracks wow. yes yeah they're gonna stop any corporate oh, job wow. you've ever thought of mm -hmm. okay so but I'm like, let's talk about you know uh, you mm. coming to kenya yeah what was the initial plan because i'm very sure <laughs> probably you aren't thinking about you know getting into music mm -hmm. getting into entertainment here like yeah. What was the initial no. plan you, you um, wanted to do? So actually, uh. I've, I tell people, um, I'm so lazy, I figured out a way to finish <laughs> high school a year early. Uh, <laughs> no, really? Yeah, I, okay. tell, I was like, it's nothing about intellect or mm -hmm. anything. It's just like four full years of high school yeah. sounded too much. And so when I figured out, I could <laughs> do it, it in short. three. Yeah. yeah. And so with that sort of bit of a, a gap year, I was in Zambia and mm -hmm. I did a lion raising program. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was, it was wonderful. Uh -huh. And I kind of realized by doing that, that if, I wanted to go into conservation at the time. Okay. And so I realized I couldn't just talk, talk. I had to walk the walk. Yeah. I didn't want to be like another Mzungu coming to an African country yeah. saying, this is how you save the this world. This is what you should do. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. I have all your solutions. <laughs> <laughs> and my sister happened to uh -huh. already be in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And she's the one who found USA, USAU, my alma mater. Mm -hmm. And even after she left, I was like, I don't want student loan debt. Yeah. I'm going to finish my degree here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And piece by piece they all just fell into place mm -hmm. for me to stay and yeah. then literally it just kind of became 10 years later wow so you went to university here yeah mm -hmm. oh nice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so de gracia am i saying it right de yeah <laughs> it, it can be said a bunch of de different gracia. ways but it's de gracia de grazia de grazia so yeah. is that italian or spanish mm -hmm. it's it's italian okay. i'm technically sicilian oh nice yeah yeah okay. yeah not too many people know where sicily is or its relation they think it's in mm -hmm. italy yeah i thought it was in italy but you're like yeah. that side you know. that side. <laughs> you know, understand yeah. like, you know we're just from around that area yeah. Yeah. almost yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, so, and yeah. plus, Sicily mm. is like a quite a small island compared to Italy. Yeah. Um, it is most people when they say Sicily, if they know anything about it, they're like, oh, so the mafia, mafia. Oh wow! Like, oh. And I'm like, yeah. Is that yeah. why you went to the name Hassel Goddess? Because you're like a mafia like princess. 
<laughs> no, the mafia doesn't exist, girl. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, okay, okay, she's the winking. Of the hair, we are like, in between, is it true? Is it no? She's like, wink, wink. It does yeah, not no. exist. Uh -huh. What do you mean? It doesn't exist. Let's talk exist. about you. Know, let's talk about <laughs> you and Kenyan cuisines and you trying out different mm. um, foods and, you know, all of that. <laughs> What's I up with the cooking? I Tell have us a, about it. Mm -hmm. I have a, a, a tough relationship with Kenyan food. Um, and <laughs> oh, I feel wow. like... I feel like I mean, you've been here for 10 years. Yeah. Still? Yeah. Uh, no, here's the thing. Okay. It's actually not that I don't like Kenyan food, mm -hmm. but I have a tough time with it. And your viewers are going to hate me for this because <laughs> I feel like Kenyan Kenyan food uh -huh. is not as flavorful as I want it to be. Because most of, our, mm -hmm. most of the food that we like that's like Swahili food okay. and stuff yeah. is like outside influence. Mm -hmm. Kenyan food is like food is to like make sure that you have the energy for the day. <laughs> you can't tell me that <laughs> yeah, ugali like is a well, delicious flavor. Yeah. 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 But so what I really love about food and what I love about living in Kenya is mm -hmm. you can take the ingredients that people are very familiar with mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and they apply to any cuisine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what I really do love is that I can take familiar flavors and spices and foods mm -hmm. and transform them into other things. And so that's what I try and do with like my cooking show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I want to make all food accessible at all budgets for mm -hmm. all people. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. do you particularly make Italian dishes? Because Italian food is very flavorful. Oh. Hey, flavorful. Flavorful. We are the best. <laughs> Honestly, you are the best. <laughs> if I was to go to Italy, I'd come back like five kgs heavier because of their food. So <laughs> yeah. do you like find yourself leaning more towards Italian food or do you just do mm -hmm. everything? Um, Italian food is the food I grew up with and mm -hmm. maybe also that's sort of why I'm biased because yeah. mm -hmm. like obviously Kenyan food is so loved because it's the food you grow up with yeah. it's what your mother makes you yeah. and Italian food is that you know for, well, okay my mother was not a very good cook but my father <laughs> <laughs> my father who is the Italian side my mother's the Jewish side okay. um, he made amazing Italian dishes mm -hmm. so I wouldn't say I lean toward that because I would actually say that my favorite kind of cuisine is Asian food. Really? Mm. I love Asian okay. food. Asian food. Yeah. Wow. Chinese, Indian. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good stuff. The spices. Yeah. Are wonderful. And it also has like... It's very, if you give a Kenyan Indian food, they'll feel like they're eating Kenyan food. Like exactly, yeah. It has like yeah. a lot of similarities. A hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, okay, so I grew up watching a lot of movies, so I have to ask this. It's like an Italian family, the way we see it in a movie. Yes. Like big, loud, <laughs> only <laughs> meeting every other yeah. family. Really? Everyone. Yeah. Okay. Or just like some. Like extended everyone. family mm -hmm. gatherings. All of us oh are loud. Oh my God. I have, yeah. I, I have a best friend in the States, and she's not Italian. Mm -hmm. And whenever I go back home, she's like, Tina, you're so loud <laughs> she's like i have to sit so far away from you oh, because oh, you're so loud oh yeah even in school i was loud yeah. and when i used to sing i have a very loud singing voice yeah, yeah so okay. it's it's all of us so you're let's talk Italian. about you know um, are you getting into um mm -hmm. being a video vixen here in kenya <laughs> well we've had stories you know you being a mozongo according to the normal typical kenyan yeah. mm -hmm. you know we've had mm -hmm. stories of different um you know kenyan girls of you know, had mm -hmm. some funny, funny incidences True, in yeah. the um, music, music yeah. side yeah, of things. Being a big when, Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So was it the same for you? Was was it like, you know, how was it for yeah. you? Um, yeah. I think I do share similar experiences with those girls because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. like being a woman is being a woman, yeah. you know? So we're always going to be sexualized to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. um, I think the only major difference is is that I really put my foot down very early in the conversation. Mm -hmm. Like um, the most recent video I was in, for example, mm -hmm. was a Timmy Tidat video. And yeah. it is a very sexy video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what people don't know is I was so rude to him. When oh he my God, called. what? I was, I actually hung up the phone on him when he called because I didn't believe it was Timmy Tidat. What? And, it, and he called me at like 7 a.m. And I was like... I just Allah. hung up the phone. Yeah, and then he texted me. He's like, "No, like it's really it's me, me for please." Real. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and it was like the day before his shoot. Mm -hmm. So, um, I I don't think that you should be mean right off the bat. Yeah, but I think one of the I would say failures or struggles of young women when they want to go into modeling and things mm -hmm. is they get talked out of their worth very easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we, we get, you know, negotiated a lot with easily. And at mm -hmm. the end of the day, if you think you're worth a certain number mm -hmm. and you think it's also accessible to the people you're working with, mm -hmm. just stick to that number. Don't, don't mm -hmm. like yeah, don't change waver. Any, Yeah, Because yeah. okay. if they wanted someone else, they'd find someone else. Okay, mm -hmm. that's yeah. true. I mean, if they want that budget, they can find someone mm -hmm. on that. I had one guy budget. tell me he was going to paint tattoos on he was like gonna find a woman and just paint tattoos on her and i was like okay go for go it go ahead yeah what? i was like go for it <laughs> <laughs> so yeah rude. he got really upset with me 
um, because wow. I wasn't just like buying into like Which the hype. You, yeah, that, yeah, you know, he was also trying to hype who he was. Yeah, and I was like, listen. Feel free. I really, I really <laughs> want to ask for names, but I have to hold myself back. That Unless one, you I feel don't like even remember his name. Oh, you don't remember yeah. his name. He, wow. You know, he's one of those guys who's small time but felt bigger. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So, you mm -hmm. also have another um, channel on YouTube that's about... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, what's it? it's social yeah it's a social long name justice. yeah so social justice issues yeah. social justice yeah what led you to start that yeah so at the end of it all so my actual degree mm. is in criminal justice mm. and yeah okay. and then I have a minor in international relations and psychology okay originally that was supposed to be IR mm -hmm. until I realized I hated international relations really? it's all theoretical to me right it's, you like practical stuff yeah it's okay. nothing actionable mm -hmm. and so I really want my whole career to culminate in like activism and advocacy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that show, Wa'asi, it's called Wa'asi. And mm -hmm. for, for those of you who don't speak deep Swahili, yeah. Wa'asi loosely translates to the rebels. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so the whole show is having very tough conversations mm -hmm. about issues of social justice, mm -hmm. you know, um, gender-based violence. Yeah. I had um, a conversation about being disabled and disabled rights. Yeah. I've had conversation. I just interviewed um, the director of the Atheist in Kenyan Society. Wow. Yeah. So <laughs> I didn't he find God or was he the deputy? That was that was I think the financier or something. Oh, yeah, like God. or the secretary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The actual president. The <laughs> actual president is still very, still very, strong very atheist. atheist. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you talk about like other issues like maybe like impunity and whatever and have you experienced any of the issues that you talk about? Um I have, I mean, of course, I think all women have, have faced some sort of, you know, yeah. maybe not gender-based mm -hmm. violence. Yeah, but adversity, yeah. things of that nature. Um, and I obviously, I've interviewed people about, like, police corruption mm -hmm. and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think all Kenyans have also, we're every day, well, like, we're victims. Yeah. yeah, we're all victims of a level of corruption mm -hmm. just yeah. being in Kenya, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, as tough as that sounds, Fact. yeah, we all we all are moving through the system uh, yes. as best we can. Yeah. And so I have experienced the things that I've interviewed for, and I do eventually hope to combat those issues. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the biggest is corruption and especially in housing. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to advocate for like actual livable like housing and humanity for people that's true and we are we're going to touch on that more mm -hmm. because that is a serious issue that a lot of people are not actually aware of but mm -hmm. we need to take a short commercial break we'll be right back mm -hmm. Yes, welcome back, guys. Nenona, Anita, Rosie, Rosi, Anasema. I've been waiting eagerly, and Masi Anasema loves the money. Tune in, I can't miss it. These are your fans who are just chilled out and they were waiting for you to get to the show. <laughs> and doggies and Samaman Zeni call live. Okay, because the box is like check, 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 check. Na fire, moto, and I don't know these emojis are called. What's my name? <laughs> but hey, they just look like flames, by the way. Yeah. And White Shark Anasema, Shoni Kali, Muturi Anasema, loading Nikondani, mm -hmm. and the show is uh, lit. Yes, some we more are love back here. On yes. SM some more love here for Dana. Um, hi, Aww. beautiful ladies. Um, this is Berit. Say hello to Dana, my icon. She looks dope. I love her tattoos. <laughs> Definitely, I wasn't going to miss the show. All right. Um, and then there's somebody else here who's saying, Hi, Hustle go Goddess. Anna Chorawapi tattoos. I'm a big fan of her tattoos, she will tell us. Mm. Um, let me read some more here for Dana. Um, Joyce and Kush Salimikeni. To me salimika, kush salimika. To me salimika. Alafu amesema to dana. Dana salimika. <laughs> you see, she knows Kiswahili. Kidogo right. too, enough. <laughs> Kidogo too, enough to like get by. Yeah, enough. Mm -hmm. So your tattoos, definitely yes. that yes. is a topic that we cannot of go course. without. Yeah. So I don't yeah. even know where to start. I would hope you wouldn't go without it. You yeah, know, I like that's your brand. Effort. That's yeah. your brand. Okay, so let's start with your first tattoo. Mm. Like, did you did you know you would build it to become a sleeve? <laughs> Like how did it This begin? wasn't even my first tattoo. Really? Yeah, I would like to preface this by saying mm -hmm. um do not disobey your parents. 
<laughs> so you did it to be rebellious. I didn't do it to be rebellious, okay. but I did get, I did start my tattoos at a very young age, mm -hmm. at 15. And wow. Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah. Can you even do that? Like legal? Did you have to lie about your age? Um, I did them. They were illegal and they were done in the US. They were done on a guy's couch. My father <laughs> knew it was happening. Yeah. What? Yeah. Here's the thing. Okay. My wait. So did you say it was legal <laughs> or illegal? Illegal. It was okay, not it was, legal. Okay. Illegal, um, okay. But you know gray areas but <laughs> but here's the thing I, I i i always got weird piercings i was one of those kids that would literally i would draw on myself okay i genuinely knew i was going to be covered in tattoos oh wow and my dad is one of those guys who's like if i can't stop you mm -hmm. i might as well support you yeah. and so the, i know i know that's, right that's amazing because i'm just like african household yeah oh my, I, I, uh, my mother had a less appreciative uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a reaction she was not for it. no 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 mm -hmm. actually when I started my sleeve and she kind of realized that there was no going back mm -hmm. I remember this moment where she cried into my sister's arms oh, she no. bawled her <laughs> eyes out and and it's only now that my career is so intertwined with my tattoos that yeah. she's accepting of them because mm -hmm. she's realized that they're such a part of me. Yeah. But yes, my first tattoos I did get when I was 15. What did it mean? What was it? Um, they're on. They're covered up now with okay. the same idea, but mm -hmm. just done better. Okay, by definitely. A legitimate artist. Couch. Yeah, like by a legitimate artist. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's actually um, two women. And it's like an angel and a devil. And it says, hope for the best, but expect the worst. Oh, wow. And right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, you know, I, I tend to get tattoos. Many people tend to get tattoos during difficult time periods in their life. That's yeah. very true. That's when I got my first tattoo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you, you get it to remember how strong you are. Mm -hmm. You know, you get it to, to prove to yourself, like, if I survived this kind yes. of thing. And so all of, most of my tattoos are either for family mm -hmm. or for, like, a difficult time in my life. But right. the first tattoos were on my stomach. Mm -hmm. And then I got them fixed up. And then the next thing was a tiny little piece of the sleeve and then the whole commitment nice. and then continue so, on. So what is the it. sleeve? Yeah. Mm. What is the whole, is it supposed to be like a message on its own, like the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it's a whole quote and it's a quote about love mm -hmm. and it's different Dr. Seuss books, like the favorite group, um, Dr. Seuss books that I grew up with. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how big they are in Kenya. but They're you not know, that big. Yeah, you yeah, have to be like a big, big like movie buff to know who Dr. Seuss exactly, is. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But you know, Dr. Seuss, he wasn't actually a great person, funny enough, but mm -hmm. he wrote a lot of books that resonated with people because he wrote them about things like social justice issues. Mm -hmm. He wrote them about things um, like civil rights. Mm -hmm. He wrote them about, you know, motivation and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, funny enough, I do actually want to get my stomach and my arm reworked by oh, my cool. new artist because uh -huh. I do not agree with the original artist and really? some of the beliefs she has. Okay. Yes. And I no longer want to support her. Oh, wow. Yes. What yes. issues? Um, hey, so it actually turns out that I, I didn't know until she was actually halfway done with my chest piece. Mm -hmm that she was like a horrible racist and a horrible home oh. yeah oh, she no. was actually like a, a literal neo nazi oh my god and even when she found out that i was jewish i could like see the disgust on her face wow. yeah it was it was insane and so I actually had to get my current artist in the States mm -hmm. to finish her piece. Mm -hmm. And I explained to him the situation and he understood. Um, but I was like, I, I can't give this woman my money anymore. Mm -hmm. And and so, he, and he's so much more amazing than she is. So yeah. it, it worked out. But so I, I want to get, you know, all the tattoos that she's touched sort of redone and reimagined. So okay. I no longer walk with her art. But it's, it's all in due time because... I always have an process. unfinished piece on my body. Yeah. 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 But let's talk about, you know, you having all of these tattoos. You know, here in Kenya, people have a very different um, yeah. idea of what a wife looks like. Mm -hmm. You are actually a wife. <laughs> I am yes. actually you get, a wife. And a lot of people mm -hmm. see when women have tattoos, they're like, oh, that one cannot be someone. Cannot very be married. True. She cannot yeah. be whatever. Yeah. 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 What, what, what? You know, there's just, I'm very sure you've come across <laughs> such stories, especially when it came to, you know, people yeah. talking about your tattoos and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So how is it like, you know, you it's, actually yeah. tell us about you. <laughs> being a wife yes. you know yeah the side of you yes the side yeah. that pretty much no one really knows about or i mm -hmm. i think most men don't want to pay attention to to be honest <laughs> yeah. um but funny enough i actually get more flack for my my views and my outspokenness mm -hmm. i actually had a woman as i was engaged she didn't know tell me because of like my views and my personality i would never marry a kenyan man and i was oh, like guess what you're wrong <laughs> yeah, my 
married to a Kenyan man. I am yes. married to a Kenyan man. He's uh -huh. from a very small tribe. He's a Teso. Mm -hmm. And so Shad Zabusia. Mm -hmm. And he is probably the most like humble, mm -hmm. like he's very stoic kind of guy. Mm -hmm. And he could care less about my tattoos. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he wants to support me in the arts, but mm -hmm. he's never been stopped by me having them mm -hmm. um i probably shocked his family a little bit <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah because you know guys from like the coast -ish are very yeah. reserved yeah yeah, yeah. I, I mean and I you being a big set what about that i don't mm. know how much they know about it to be honest mm. i don't know how uh -huh. many people actually show mm. um there was <laughs> the area. You have so many stories. I, I, like I have so many stories. I, I have so it. many yeah. stories. I love it. I mean, the good news is mm. I, I genuinely feel like they think they can ask me or Jasper anything. Mm -hmm. And I, I do feel like they trust his judgment when it comes to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it were ever a time where he ever felt like I was crossing a line for him, mm -hmm. he would tell me because... I actually tell him everything I do before I do it. Yeah. So even before all of the crazy stuff, yeah. he knows before anyone else knows what's mm. about to happen. Yeah. So that's right. really the key. And how long have you been married? Oh, uh, we just celebrated our four-year anniversary. Oh, four that's years. So yep. Wow. Four years. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, that's a that's a minute. Yeah, four years is that's a lot. In this modern age, is. that is a lot. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Dana, you know yeah. we can't have you here and not play some games. So guys, I know how it goes. Yes, <laughs> guys, it's time for game spot. <laughs> Today's game is very easy. It's would you rather, you know, we'll give you some certain scenarios and we'll judge you by your answers. I'm kidding. It does, you know, tell <laughs> no, us. No, you will. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a little bit, a lot. Uh -huh. I'm kidding. We're not going to judge you. Yes. So basically we're playing would you rather. So let me just read the first one. Quickly. Would you rather be the most popular person at work or school? Or, I mean, at, oh, sorry, would you rather be the most popular person at work mm -hmm. or the smartest? The smartest. Smart. Yeah. Smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean... I don't like people anyway. Ah! Okay, so <laughs> I'm kidding. Like, yeah, so we're judging one. you. We judge, <laughs> judge away, judge away. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would you rather put a stop to war or end world hunger? World hunger. World hunger, mm. definitely. War. Oh. Or war or hunger. And uh, sorry, put a stop to war, whatever war is going on right now, mm -hmm. or end world hunger. I'll tap to the war. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. Peace. That means people can do other things. And they can <laughs> then they can be fed. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Like, now, that we're, now that we're not preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> How about we feed people? Yeah, because you know, we're not allowed to fight. What can we do? You know, Let's something. feed some people. That would yeah. be great. <laughs> That's a good mm -hmm. answer. Um, would you rather explore space or the ocean? Oh my God, both of those places freak me out. I think ocean space, I think freaks me out. I think ocean freaks me out. Bermuda Triangle. Mm. And of which it's dangerous to go there, so probably I'll go to space. I'd uh -uh. like to see Saturn. Let me tell you the I'd ocean. I'd rather ocean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Ocean. it looks the way it looks in movies, like I'm, I'm just that my curious. whole thing is, if something goes wrong, oh, there's spaceship. there's nowhere al more alone than <laughs> space. Okay, there's nowhere more alone than me. I do like <laughs> me by time, so I think I'll be okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. But I'm gonna take an entertainment <laughs> because <laughs> good. You know, I let, don't like you know what your that your shows in space. That's my easy. problem. You can't see well, the end of space either. But yes. no, I'm like that's okay. Yeah, you but know. you'll be contained. Yeah, but what I just. Magic na sharks were. Let me tell you, I can't comprehend space. So I'm mm -hmm. I, I have said this and I will say it again. <laughs> the ocean has a life of its own, okay? Yeah. That is a living, breathing thing. I believe it for real. I don't like the ocean. <laughs> there are things in there that I don't want to like. Yeah. chill with you it know what i mean there, let it just stay there let me go and discover other things <laughs> you know, if you go up you can still see the ocean yeah so it's like you're killing two birds with one stone like maybe i'm just up there you're like oh come i'm on, just a pessimist like then i'm yeah. just a pessimist <laughs> then because i'm like if something goes wrong oh, it's, that's me. Just a hey, it's me and only me <laughs> Misawa, at least i will have died in space i can't, I can't imagine dying in the ocean what were you doing? <laughs> or oh, like everybody Anna. else mm. Mm. No. <laughs> so would you rather go deep sea diving or bungee jumping but I just ha had bungee jumping and my heart just stopped. Yeah. I've been, I've been diving, so mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable going scuba diving. I mean, I think I'd do that. Mm -hmm. But I never, like, do it 
at the end i always make sure everyone is around because <laughs> like i said i it's don't like happened. sharks yeah. Yeah. and piranhas i don't right. know it's watching a lot of movies yeah. so they say there are no yeah. sharks the water in the has a lot of things yeah. yeah i don't know i always think so, something can just come and pull never had people who are just pulled my guy <laughs> and they were never seen again mm. so for me i'd go up with wakati kati yenu so scuba diving scuba diving was security but i want to try it in my lifetime yeah it's in my bucket list but i think you're going to yeah you know what let me just choose bungee jumping again the ocean okay. is a no mm-hmm. i would rather have my heart stop but anyway dana unfortunately our time together is almost over so you know so um closing closing mm-hmm. remarks and you know your social media handles yes of course so um closing remarks would be other than everything you've already seen me there is a massive project that i'm about to work on that is unlike anything i've done before nice. i wish i could say more than that mm-hmm. you know other than it it may or not they just need to keep it movie. locked yeah. yeah just just keep it locked keep your eyes out uh-huh. and the best way to do that is to follow me at hustle goddess everywhere everywhere honestly yeah. every single mm-hmm. platform yep tiktok instagram mm-hmm. um everywhere that matters really yeah. okay fantastic <laughs> anywhere where they're at yeah anywhere where they're at yes, yes. yes. awesome yeah, thank fantastic. you so much for stopping by uh-huh. it's nice having me. you know getting to hang out with you yes. Yes. and of course we've come to the end of the show we'll see you guys tomorrow same time same place mbogie to ya tantare tunawacheki venye mnapenda ngagiza but it's all good see you tomorrow when you see us bye bye <laughs>